Okay, hey guys, it's Kathy, and I'm back with another process video for Hip Kit Club. And my fingers are crossed that my spray works, and uh, just a heads up, it doesn't. <laughs> um, it's not spraying well. It's it's coming out very s splattery instead of a nice fine mist, so obviously I must have messed something up spraying it. But I'm using some Heidi Swap Color Shine in Butter, um, Mandarin Mai Tai um, Shimmers Colorings. And I'm using Heidi Swap Color Shine in Peach. And I'm kind of creating a little bit of a mixed media background that I'm going to put more splatters on at the end, but you don't see me put the splatters on. Um, just because I end up covering up so much of this that it seemed necessary to put some more on. So I'm going to dry that. And then I'm going to get to my pictures. So I'm going to... Um, what is it called? <laughs> I'm going to cut them up and uh, they're all two and a quarter inch and I'm going to put them on some spare piece of white cardstock that I have kicking around um, just because I don't have an eight and, eight, eight and a half by eleven uh, printer photo paper for my printer right now. I just bought the four by six for now and uh, normally I would just print this as one big photo but I just didn't have that opportunity so I'm just going to stick this down and I'm eyeballing it because I don't ever bother measuring stuff unless I really need to. I'm just seeing which pictures in which place. I do end up changing the pictures anyway so it doesn't really matter but uh, yeah so that's the that's the overall look so just like a giant square with four smaller um, pictures inside. So I've tried to record this several times and uh, I keep forgetting that in the end, um, the embellishing goes by really quick and I didn't get to explain a lot of it. So I'm going to hopefully explain this a lot quicker and a lot better um, this time. So um, my fingers are crossed. <laughs> so I'm gonna create a sun burst kind of effect and I'm going to use pattern paper and you're gonna see me cut it out in several different um, patterns and then switch and then I'm just going to use three different patterns and I'm going to repeat um, each sunburst. So I'm going to do six big triangles in three different pattern papers in the end. I just end up liking, liking it more that way and a lot of it just had to do with the mix of the cream and the white papers. Like the white, the the papers from Simple Stories have a bit more of a cream background, like especially that plus plus sign one. And the papers from the Simple Stories, or sorry, <laughs> the papers that were exclusive to Hip Kit um, have a white background. And uh, I just don't end up liking it all that much. And, you know, I try using this floral one, but it's kind of dark for what I'm going for. So there, like I, I didn't bother showing you me fiddling around because I do, I fiddle around a lot and I bring in the polka dots and I don't like it. Anyway, so this is the basic idea and yes, I'm using even more of that patchwork one and I haven't, I haven't even shown a layout yet using the patchwork with the patchwork side. It's kind of sad. <laughs> um, that just tends to be something I do is I get like an amazing pattern paper and I love it, but I kind of love the B-side too and I end up using the B-side um, instead of the, the pattern that I'm like absolutely in love with. Anyway, so I'm just kind of showing you guys a quick way to make a really fun summer layout, especially if you're just using up some scraps. This is great for, you know, leftover kit pieces or, you know, just leftover scraps in general. I'm going to curl up the edges. Uh, if, if I had a sewing machine, I probably would have stitched on the, the sunburst too, just for, added ex that, just for added texture and an effect. But I, do, I, don't, I don't have a sewing machine and I really do not feel like hand stitching that because it would take me a long time to hand stitch that. And I don't have a lot of variety of colors for my thread. So I'm going to use... Um, some Baker's Twine from my stash and uh, this is an orange and white and I really like how well it matches with everything and I'm just going from the middle of each white section 
in towards the center and I'm stapling so that the um, so that it's stapled on both sides so it doesn't accidentally pull through. So if you're doing something like this, make sure you look around on both sides when you're stapling so that the staple goes through uh, both sides and holds the, the twine because you don't want to be pulling it into the middle and then have that happen. Um, something I had had been thinking I was going to do, but I didn't and I completely just forgot was I was going to distress the edges of the paper with, you know, that old distressor tool that like everybody purchased and then we stopped distressing so that nobody used it anymore. I was going to try to bring it back for this layout and I forgot. So I don't end up doing it, um, but you could and I think it would look really, really awesome with a distressed edge on those just with like the white coming through or the other kind of color coming through. So I'm pulling them tight, but not so tight that I accidentally warp the paper. I'm going to back my pictures with some vellum and some leftover paper from my attempts at cutting other triangles. And I'm going to hot glue the picture down um, onto some fun foam and then onto the paper. That way, once it's hot glued down, everything's going to stick. Like you could use tacky glue, but I find um, liquid glue, like a tacky glue, once you do put it on fun foam, the fun foam tends to absorb a lot of the glue and it doesn't stick quite right and it just gets on my nerves. So rather than do, than do that, uh, I'm going to use my hot glue gun. And uh, some people might not like, you know, just for the archival quality of using a hot glue gun, but uh, I actually don't really mind it because sometimes I find it kind of necessary to use one. Anyway, um, so I'm backing it with the with the polka dots and just in two corners and I'm going to back it with the uh, Happy Day, the Dear Lizzie um, floral. And I have to cut it into a new piece. So I have some leftover. I still have some leftover Happy Day and I really like that, that floral. So I guess I'm going to have to buy some more. I'm really kind of disappointed that I cut into that, but hopefully I have enough to do something. But I really liked how it looked against the polka dot. And then I'm going to back that all with vellum. So it'll all be cool. It'll work. Um, so for this layout, I kept my uh, embellishments kind of minimal. I didn't really embellish a whole lot around the photo. I, I hummed and hawed a lot with title placement. Originally the title was going to go in that big white open section and it doesn't in the end. I, I make something else. Um, I got, uh, we all got these Bella Boulevard word uh, chipboard pieces in the May hip kits, um, but there was an error and mine didn't get shipped. I'm not sure if they had arrived in time or something. So I got them with the June kit. And so I decided to use one and I took gelatos and I did an ombre effect where it goes from orange to red. And then I have one of those Dear Lizzie um, word cardstock kind of ones and it says good vibes. And I had sprayed it yellow from a previous layout that did not turn out. So it was sprayed yellow and I cut out the, um, the good part. Like, I, I kind of really like that, and I kind of wish I had just stayed with that. So, you know, heads up, anyone making one of these, do that. <laughs> do it there. It looks really cool. Um, I just, I don't know what it was. Just part of me just wanted to use that chipboard, I guess, from Bella Boulevard. So I did. Um, so there we go. So I'm just showing you what I did, and then I cut out the vibes. And I think I'm going to put some green... Uh, yeah, kind of like a lime green um, gelato in the bottom. Just to kind of almost do another ombre effect. And so it's gonna, the title's going to be like Summer Vibes. And uh, then I'm going to take my, uh, what are they called? Those clothespins. I'm going to take the clothespins that we got from Jelly Bean Soup. And there's one that's orange and says hashtag cool. And I take apart the, um, oops, I take apart the clothespin. Um, one of the ways you could get the dimension of a clothespin without it being so dimensional, because those are really big, is to split them in half 
and then just glue them. So I do not end up doing that. This is what I'm still debating doing a cluster around the photo somewhere. And I'm just, it's just so my thing to do clusters of embellishments around my photos that I can't get away from it. Oh my gosh, there's a big bug that just landed on me, guys. Oh, they can get in my scared the... Wow, that really scared me. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, since this is my like fifth time recording it, I am not going to stop recording for that bug. Um, anyway, I'm still determined to do a cluster because that's kind of my thing is to do embellishment clusters around my photos. I, I'm, I'm not sure if you've noticed a lot of my layouts do kind of do that. And when I don't do one, I feel really weird about it. Um, so I do decide to take the cool right off the, um, right off the clothespin and that makes it break in half. They don't come off all that well. And I was just using an X-Acto knife to, to get mine kind of peeled off, but it split perfectly that I could glue it back together. And because I was gluing it right on top of the photo, I don't really need to worry about that. If you were gluing it on top of something else, I wouldn't necessarily suggest taking it off the clothespin. Um, but, you know, I like to experiment. <laughs> so I'm going to kind of decorate up the white areas, uh, the blank areas in mine, but I'm not going to decorate up all of them, um, just a few of the spots, just to kind of, I don't know, just to add a little bit of something else to it. And I, I debate using this, these wood veneers and which ones I'm going to use, and then I just decide not to use them in the end. Um, I just have another idea for them. And because I was using the, the orange one, or I really wanted to use the orange one, it seemed really weird to bring in the other ones because I wasn't going to color them because they're really cute and they have like white polka dots and stripes and whatnot. So I'm going to use the um, word, the phrase stickers that we got um, from Simple Stories. And I'm going to line some of the pattern paper with that. You'll see it on the end picture. Um, but yeah, I bring in sequins eventually from my stash to kind of just add in more gold. I add in a few of those gold DIY shop phrase stickers. Um, and I do add a couple of flowers from the ephemera uh, around it just because they were white and, and blue and they brought in a bit more of that blue. Um, so I basically just play around with enamel dots and the brads and, and that kind of thing and create this little, this little effect. And I'm just kind of explaining it now before you actually see it because right at the end, um, you don't get to see it <laughs> very much because my video cut out and I didn't know it had cut out. So I'm going to use those, a bunch of those. And you're going to see me try to place them in different areas and then I just end up doing them somewhere different. And I really like where they went in the end. Um, so yeah, this was a great way to kind of use up a little bit of the... You know, I didn't really use much of the puffy stickers or the ephemera pack. So if, you know, if you're someone that has used up all of theirs, um, doing something big and bold like a sunburst is a great way to kind of then not have to embellish a lot. Um, because the the effect already has does the embellishing for you. So you don't really have to do much. Um, so I'm really happy with how this turned out. It's kind of another, you know, sunny layout. Um, it's going to flip over here and the pictures are coming up. So thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you in the next video.